Art is an expression of the beauty of Christ. You look at Christianity, the architecture of our churches, the stained glass windows, music, representation of the saints. Through art, we can experience our connection to God on a different level. Church is a place where art and artists should thrive. I hope the following piece not only engages you, but inspires you. Church of the Advocate, Walter Edmonds. So he had this dream about he wanted to paint, to do the Sistine, Sistine Chapel thing in America. He wanted to paint the ceiling of the Church of the Advocate. Father Washington, he said, what about underneath the windows here? Because, it, you know, that roof is, you know, that required more than anybody could even imagine. My first experience of relationship to what one would say is art came about when I was about five years old. I was living with my grandparents in North Carolina with my older brother who was three years older and so he had started school and I was home with my grandparents. A lot of times he had homework and my grandmother made him do his homework and made me sit down and be still. So I learned what he learned at his elbow while he was doing his work. So by the time I started in the first grade, uh, I bored out of my wits, man. So I learned how to doodle, and it took my mind into things that I wanted to express. I've always been a rambler, and they call a rambler a kid who won't stay out of other people's business. The minute I saw something, I was on to it. I was investigating, what, what, what is this? I was very curious about everything. If they threw out a radio, I would take it apart, take the tubes out, pull out the wires and the condensers and screw them together, make a little figure, a little toy or something. But it wasn't about art for me. It had no name. It was an activity. So that's how I really got started with doing found object collages that I do now. Art for me became a reality when I came to North Philadelphia. At Ben Franklin High School in 11th grade, art teacher saw that I had something different going on. He said, uh, you think about going to art school? So you got a choice. You can go to college, you can get a job working in a factory, or you could go to the army and get, a, get your education paid for. That was around the time that the, the Vietnam War was on. When I went into the academy for that fall semester, I was smelling the oil, I got hooked on oil paint, linseed oil, turpentine oil, an experience I'll never forget, a treasure forever, and um, I just grew from there. The Church of the Advocate was an interesting project because I had never done a mural. I had left Papa in 68, and that's when I became a freelance free kind of wheel of what are you going to do now. One recruiting job led to another, and then the Model Cities program came along that had to do with the culture, with the artistic creative arts, art, drama, music. So the Church of the Advocate was being used by the Model Cities as a staging area. While we were there, Walter was doing the little murals on the wall, and so the one conversation led to another, and uh, he said, hey, Richard, you want to do this mural with me, man? I said, what? He said, yeah, but tell me, I can get the guys to put the scaffolding up. I said, yeah, I think so. But I wasn't going to climb all the way up that ceiling. And that's how it came to be. Well, Father Washington chose the par parables that he wanted, the passages and the verses. He said, these, these correlate to the experiences of black people. We don't want you to interpret through your vision of what these things mean and how black people can be the voice of these words and how God's hand played a part in all of it. So, there's violence in all of it, but I think the intention to promote it as the theme is something that I avoided. Walter did not, because it, it was like, Walter felt um, 
hey, people all over the world show their grief and pain and, and, and suffering. And I wasn't trying to necessarily go, you do the suffering and I'll do the, you know, the, the, the peaceful. My work was just a fluid style of how I interpret things. Demonstrations were happening all over the country. All of the things that Dr. King was doing all around in that era. Black arts movement was bold. You know, that was the cannon that lit the fire for most of us now. In any modern time, we know that everything is subject to change based on the structure of society. But within a church like that, the monumental structure itself and the presence of that church tends to make you think that it's always going to be preserved. But then as time goes by, you see a lot of churches like that crumble in all kinds of communities. Uh, but at the same time, everything is, is subject to change. I think there's still hope for this historic church.